What's the word? This is Eggly Bagel Face. Today I'm showcasing the Grotty X80 Proto, the fastest car in Grand Theft Auto Online. So let's head into my custom vehicle workshop and I'll go ahead and show you all the different modification options that are available on this car, which there are a ton of. Uh, it's a really cool looking car. I saved up for it for a long time. It's very expensive. It's uh, $2,700,000, but it's totally worth it. So the brake options on our armor options are standard. Um, we've got the custom front splitter secondary color and carbon fiber splitter. I went with the primary color to contrast my paint job. And engine pretty standard. We've got the uh, split exhaust and stock exhaust, so I'm going to go with the split. Horns are uh, pretty standard as always. And the headlights are going to go with the xenon lights, of course. And front, back, and side neon set up with the mint green color. Lime green looks pretty neat, so does electric blue, yellow, but I'm going to go with the mint green instead of the lime green to accent my uh, blue and lime green pearlescent paint job. So, of course, I'm going to go with my um, custom license plate from the iFruit app, and there's uh, quite a few different cool looking color combinations on this car. The front dual shocks that are the pretty much the predominant feature on this car are um, non-customizable. You can't change the color on those. So um, I went with the uh, blue and yellow color scheme to contrast that. It's kind of like a uh, retro squirt gun color looking theme. I, uh, I'm into that. And it matches my regular show crew emblem with the retro theme. Um, and since those shocks are such a uh, outstanding feature on the car, with the extended front windshield, I uh, wanted to go ahead and make it match, but um, I think that uh, dark blue and pearlescent lime green really looks neat because it has a kind of rainbow effect as you walk around the car, and I love being able to change the interior color. That's a that's a great option. You can um, there's like four respray options for this car. The primary, secondary color, accent color, and uh, trim color. So um, here we're looking at the Tron racing stripes, kind of, the um, pan stripes on the side of the car. You can change those. I've got the yellow bird design with uh, contrasting to my do yellow secondary color. Um, and I think this car looks good in red. Also, definitely looks good in green. Looks good in any pretty much color. Looks great in gray with uh, primary color gray and secondary any color. Um, and like I said, the interior uh, options, having all the different colors for the interior is really cool. I like that in the newer cars. Um, and that's the entirety of the respray options. We've got... Um, our skirts, I went with the carbon fiber at first, but I kind of like the colorful look of the secondary color side skirts. We've got primary or secondary color, and um, the primary color and the carbon just sort of blend in, so I'm going to keep it colorful and go with the secondary color. Um, and just look at the front of that vehicle. It looks like uh, Space Age, kind of a flying saucer something i i'm really into this car got the gt enhanced gt and racewing spoilers the racewing spoiler looks the best it really makes it look like a supercar um i keep my cars at stock suspension i find that if i slam it and um do the competition suspension it's just too low and it d takes away from the handling so uh I also leave my wheel stock also because on most supercars, the stock wheels are a uh, individual, unique option for every car, um, and these wheels are no exception. They have the hexagonal trim color, and I really like that. I want to keep that, so I'm going to keep the wheels stock. Um, and go with the bulletproof tires, obviously, but if you change the rim color, the rim design, it just takes away from the overall uh, special character of the car. I think those stock rims really make it pop and uh, give it that X80 Proto look. I'm really proud to have one of these in my garage when I show it off to my friends. It's uh, pretty neat to 
be able to say I've got one of the fastest and most expensive cars in Grand Theft Auto. So, I hope you liked the video. Um, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more car modification videos in the future. Peace out.